YouTube, this is Lance, Big L's Farm. Just coming to you today. I like roadkill. I like watching all these other guys and do cool stuff. And I just want y'all to know that I'm one of them. Been doing it for a long time, 34 years old. I've uh, probably been doing this since I was, you know, 16, 18 years old. Anyway, this is one of my recent acquirements right here. Uh, 96 Ford Crown Vic. That I picked up for a steal. Not literally, I paid for it. But anyway, it's got cool wheels on it. A lot of drag racing mods. This is my cool flatbed tow truck. I use to run around and get stuff. And I just figured I'd share a little bit with y'all about what we got going on in this thing. And how easy it is to do some of this stuff and have fun making money. This is the old truck I run around in. It ain't nothing too special, but it's got a 406, a little built up motor. It runs good. I'll make another video on that later, of it running and stuff. Maybe hauling something. I had a little boo boo when I went to pick this thing up, put bigger tires on it. And yeah, if you put bigger tires on it, you have clearance issues. I had to cut my bed, that sucked. Did that at the guy's house where I bought this car at. Anyway, interior's dirty. You can tell she's been sitting around. Missing the door panel. But I don't know if y'all can see. got a cool ratchet shifter in there. I'm going to pop the hood on it. And show y'all what's going on there. Because, uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Ugh. I don't know many people that soup up the Ford Crown Vicks. But somebody decided to soup this one up. Bear with me a sec. Okay, I'm back to you now. Somebody decided to soup this one up. It's got MSD ignition, bigger throttle body. The heads have been worked. Uh, the exhaust and intake manifolds have both been ported and kind of polished out so that they flow a little better. Yeah, it was said to run pretty good. Unfortunately, and the reason why I got it cheap, is they took the transmission out of it. I evidently had a hole in the transmission. Oil pan damaged the transmission somehow. And they decided to pull the transmission out and never put it back in. That was in 2010. So, in the trunk, there is a... Uh, brand new transmission, two of them, that happened to come with the vehicle. And got a 3500 stall, which later on I'll open up the trunk and probably make a video of putting that in and some steps and stuff you should do, you know, when you're putting them in and checking the fluid, getting it all straight, whatever. But uh, anyway, cool car. This is going to be the new project car right here uh, for the next couple weeks. I run Langley, Wacky Wednesday, drag racing, all kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah. It's going to be a cool toy for that. And like I say, somebody's already done a few things. It is a true police car. Police interceptor badge right there. Uh, it's got the beefier suspension on it. And actually, I don't think there's enough light to really see. But they've done some rear end work on this thing too. It's got 430 rear end gears and positive traction. And uh, it's got these big old wide tires on there. And full exhaust design. It ought to be a fun little car to drive when we get her straight. So. We'll see. Hopefully the motor don't knock. They claim it's only got a thousand miles on the rebuild, but you know how that goes. Uh, you just kind of take their word for it and see what happens. It ain't that big a deal. If it does, there's plenty of 4.6s out there. And uh, Stuff that's on this one will bolt right on those. Not a big deal. Uh, another side view of the car. Still trying to work the camera here and learn the camera. Side view. It's pretty straight. Probably eventually use a paint job, but for the money I paid for this thing, there are no complaints. As far as I'm concerned. Anyway, this is a uh, part one of many parts to come. I'm not too sure how many, but uh, we'll keep you updated as we go. And uh, looking forward to getting many, many subscribers and 
hearing y'all's thoughts and reactions to some of the crap I do around here. I got six and three quarter acres that I play on here. And uh, we tend to have a lot of fun dirt bikes and riding cars around out in the field and whatever, you know. So I'm going to start trying to film it, bring it to y'all, and show you how the simple life can actually be quite complicated and fun sometimes. Y'all take care.